Ouch! I touched a hot vessel and immediately pulled my hand back. Thankfully, I didn't get burned. Do you know what I should thank? My nerves, my hand muscles and my peripheral nervous system. Today, let's look at what is our peripheral nervous system. The word peripheral is derived from the word periphery, which means around the center. In the center of our body, we have our brain and the spinal cord, which forms the central nervous system. So if the brain and spinal cord are the central nervous system, what forms the peripheral nervous system? It includes everything else around these structures, like our nerves. Nerves are present everywhere in the body. They branch out from the brain and spinal cord and are present till our fingertips. What do they do there? So here it is. Suppose you're busy studying and suddenly get a funny feeling near your nose. It's like an itch or just some irritation. How did you get that feeling? It was your sensory nerves that took that feeling to the brain. And what do you do when you get the sensation of an itch near your nose? You immediately move your fingers and scratch your nose. How did you take your hand to your nose? It was the motor nerves that received the message from the brain and acted as you wanted to. So our peripheral nervous system does two important things. Number one, sense. The sensory nerves carry signals from your nose, ears and mouth and other organs to your brain. They tell our brain about the world around us. They are like our body's gossip mongers. Number two, movement. The motor nerves branch outward throughout your body and deliver command signals from your brain to your muscles. So they are like the postmen who carry messages from the post office or our brain. Now imagine I want to type something on the keyboard. So my brain knows that I want to press the letter A. But the nerves to my left hand are just not working. My brain knows that I want to do it. It continuously sends signals to my left hand. But my left hand is just numb or frozen and I can feel a burning sensation in my left hand and moving it is just increasing the pain. I cannot move it at all. This does happen to a few people with damaged peripheral nerves. This condition is called peripheral neuropathy. Let's look at this condition in detail. Peripheral neuropathy refers to the condition that results when nerves that carry messages to and fro from the brain and spinal cord to the rest of the body are damaged or diseased. Now, what causes peripheral neuropathy? There are many causes for this condition. It can be an infection, an injury, chronic illness, hormonal imbalance or even a vitamin deficiency. Nerve damage caused by diabetes is one of the most common forms of neuropathy. This leads to numbness, pain and a loss of sensation in the body's extremities. Another common cause is physical damage to nerves caused due to a car or a bike accident. How to find out if you have peripheral neuropathy? Watch out for these signs. Excessive muscle cramps, head or foot tremors or mild twitching, pricking or tingling sensation. Numbness in the hand or foot. The pricking sensation that feels like 100 needles pricking at the same time. Burning sensation or pain in the arm or foot. And lastly, loss of balance or coordination. We all have experienced some sort of tingling sensation or a feeling of thousand invisible ants moving on our legs or hands. This is a very common feeling and it's a mild condition due to loss of blood supply or too much pressure on your leg or hand. The nerves and muscles do not get the required blood supply which causes numbness. So you can just try readjusting your position and it should go away in a few minutes. But if it happens too often, do visit your doctor. Let's see some self-care tips to reduce the pain or numbness or this tingling sensation. Try to massage the affected area to increase the blood circulation. Apply ice pack to the affected area twice a day. Try acupuncture or reflexology. And avoid too much caffeine. In the comments, we would love to hear some home remedies to reduce numbness caused by neuropathy. Till then, like, share and subscribe to Let's Tute for more such informative videos. Keep watching, keep growing. Thank you.